How's it going everyone? Welcome back and thank you for joining me again. Okay, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. So you can see here, this is what I did in 2018. I also bred some other birds, but they were a family which didn't work out for me. So I decided to just pair up my best pigeons with my best pigeons. So the results are here. So out of all these birds, um, out of the youngsters that really stood out, um, they all highlighted here. So I saw, okay, the mum, in most cases, this is a black bullhead hen that was born here with me, uh, number five of 2013. She's also the mum here. And then the males are basically this black bullhead and that Millie. So you can see this number 41. Uh, same dad as these ones and then yeah again Millie Badge was the dad Millie Badge was this one's dad so then what I did was I paired these ones up the ones that I still had and now I went through my kit and I saw that these are basically the best birds in the kit so this 124 and 110 are over here. There's 110 and 124. So they are actually still flying in my kit at the moment. So I lost a lot of um, the first year that I paid them up, those offspring, I lost a lot of them. So I'm going to just wait until this competition is done, then I'll be taking this one and this one and also breeding with them so um there was one that really stood out she was uh the millie this one number 26 of 2018 i flew her for a year and then i decided now i'm gonna put her in the stock loft so she's one of the breeders that i've got here so now, if I go look at these as background, it's basically only three birds. So I see, okay, right. Once again, it's that in. So she's a really good um, breeder for me. That black bull at the end. Over here, that same male with a new female that I went and got when I saw that um, my pigeons are all gonna be out of one female. So I brought this female in specifically because she's related to that male. And then if we look further, there's another one here, which is the mum was that daughter that's over there. So she and this 124, I have the same dad, but I unfortunately lost the dad. So, um, I'm basically going to be pairing up that male and female, that male and female, that male and female. And then I've got this male um, still in the stock loft. I put him away as well. And then um, I'm going to be rotating them, putting all the males with all the females over time. But my main aim, some of these birds I was very harsh on, but I haven't mated them together. You see, they're quite old. This is already 10 year old, 9 year old. So, I think my first pairing will just be to put these two together again so that I can multiply the ones that I've got here. At the moment, I've only got 71, 72 and 110, which means 73 and 84 were either 
killed or uh, they got sick or a falcon caught them or whatever so basically um, I'm also gonna be the pigeons that worked well here like this male I'm gonna be putting him to this females to other daughters as well then over here this female I'm gonna make her to my male from my original stock pair then over here I last year that Pigeon number five, which is my main female, which is also the mum of this one. I was lucky enough to get some stock birds and some kit birds when this fancier stopped flying. So I've got a few quite inbred males and females from this same family. Um, I'm also going to be pairing them up with all my pigeons and then I'll just rotate them. So you'll see... Like, for instance, over here, this year I had 29 paired up with that female. Here he is again with that female. Here he is again with that female. Here he is again with this female yep that's it so I'm basically pairing the pigeons that I know work up so that the babies are uh, related but not um, totally inbred so let's go see what they look like Right, so yeah, they must recognize each other. Good job. So, this is the foundation pair of all of the birds. This is the son, bred back to his mother's family. Okay, let me first stick to them. So it's the foundation pair. It's full sun. This is daughter from another cock of the mom. Uh, this pigeon that I placed with her comes from Poon. So you'll see. Uh, the reason I placed him back is because one of his daughters were also very good in the 18. But I removed her because she was too deep and then she lost the kids. So yeah, so as I was saying, it's a, the foundation pair, half daughter, full son, went back to the uh, to his mom's family. Here we've got another daughter, also being bred back to the um, to the cock that. Her sister was mated up with earlier. Then here are the two pigeons that came in that were paired up with the foundation pair and produced good offspring. So it's 79 and 77. Um, then there's one more. Um, I don't know, what I was going to say was then I've still got the one full sister in the flying kit and then I've got the Millie bird from 2018. So I'm keeping the two of them in mind. So I've paired up everything. These are experimental matings, the other ones. So these are two mason birds. I'm still going to go fetch a female. This one was also very good in the air. But she's quite weak. Um, she rolls so much, she comes down, and it looks as if she had an injury when she was smaller. You can see her one eyelid is kind of raised up. It's 
it's almost like something um, picked on her for a while. So then this is the family again. Okay, these come from Poon. See, these are all linked Poon and Raisa. Really nice looking birds. I think I paid up six pairs of them. Here's another nice pair. Here's a nice pair. Yeah, so we'll have to see how everything goes. Then yeah, I've got a feeder pair. I've got these two homing pigeons. But they just refuse to go. I've left them 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers. They just keep on coming back. So now I'm using them with uh, as feeder pairs so that I can get more babies out of the better pairs that I've paired up. Yeah, so there's the chickens. They eat all the pellets and stuff that fall down. So yeah. Looking forward to the babies that we're going to be getting. I'm going to make this pigeon back to... Um, she also comes from the loft where my foundation bullet female comes from. The first one. So I missed you there for a second. I quickly had a phone call. So, yeah, so this um, bird comes from the loft where my foundation female comes from so I'll just quickly fetch one of the males that also came from there so yeah this is the core of my breeding my foundation pair half daughter full son full daughter and then I've got a full daughter that's still flying that I'll be adding to them Right, so thank you very much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you can subscribe. You can hit that little subscribe icon on the screen. And then you can also hit the alert button so that you see when we place new videos up. Good job. Thanks for watching. It looks as if everyone settled in. And then we'll speak again next time.